When you are interested in vintage computers, this is perhaps an interesting video. This is part one. I hope to publish a part two anyway. This is an old Tulip computer with a 386 uh, microprocessor inside it. Of course, it's from the 1980s, it's very old. Um, and I don't have the original uh, MS DOS of uh, Tulip, but the, also the Olivetti PC1 of 2004, quite a long time ago, that program also worked. And now we have here, say, the standard IDs when we are talking about DOS standard programs. A sys, tree, hex dump, etc. etc. Auto execute, of course, auto execute. But uh, well, my, I need, I need it, or I need a, a DOS computer, at least in the past, because I made many uh, electronic uh, computation files programs in basic to calculate coils, resistors, etc. etc. So that was in my opinion very very important. Anyway, uh, the Tulip computer worked okay. The the keyboard did not work okay uh, because the contacts inside are eroded. So when you push the A you don't see an A on the screen. And the same for the here for the screen it screen it also didn't work so I had to use an external monitor from Philips and an external keyboard anyway. Um this is DOS 3.2 I think and um perhaps it's interesting to try out some old DOS games at first. A breakout composer, Pekul, of course, all very, very common. So let's see uh, whether it's possible to start such an old DOS game. Uh, the good thing of the tulip is that it's still that the, cop the floppy disk still works. So Let's see. Well, here we have it all. Um, let's start Castle. And of course, we have to look for exe, exe files. Exe means executables. So, Castle. Castle. I hope it works. Yes. Well, we hear, of course that beautiful sound of the disketted disc. Uh, Castle Adventure, well, um, you are encouraged to share this program with other users, etc, etc. Press any key to continue. I leave this for a moment, perhaps it's interesting. It's of course a game of the 1980s, I think. Anyway, press any key, let's do it. Well. Here is the castle adventure. Uh, P to play. E for instructions. Let's play. Of course I don't know how to play it, but anyway, play. Well, the beautiful sound again. Uh, you are in the castle courtyard. To the north there is a large doorway. To the south there is a large gate. Well, <laughs> let me try. Um, of course I'm not going to play it because simply I don't know how to play it but it it's only a demo video where I wanted to show some things about DOS etc etc so castle I move it now with the cursor here and not with a mouse in those days 
the mouse was a kind of uh, first thing, though uh, the mouse, as far as I know, was invented in the 1950s in America. And there is a very old photograph of that, but anyway. So I'll stop it now. I hope I can stop it because it was always very difficult to stop these <coughs> these uh, <coughs> these uh, DOS games anyway. Perhaps I have to switch the computer completely off. Let's do it. Well, it will be a very long video in that case. So now it's switched off. Entering sleep mode. That is what my what the monitor tells us. Let's start it again. Of course I have to add again the, the say the basic the basic program DOS DOS 3.1 I like the sound. And by the way, perhaps interesting to show, I bought this in the Netherlands. A game, game unit, via which you can play all these old games. Approximately 300 are here. Well, that's a lot. Pure amusement. It was also not very expensive, only 15 euros. I'm more or less sure that it was made in China, but anyway. I stop it now because I don't like all these stupid sounds. So, and I'm also working uh, on my other DOS computer. That is the Commodore PC-1. I bought it in the Netherlands in 1984 or so. And it still works. When I switch it on, I hear the beautiful sounds of the floppy disk here. Uh, the only problem is that the monitor doesn't work. And it is a black and white monitor. So I have to repair it first. I don't know why my camera is not giving a proper focus, but anyway. Well, does everything still work? The program is, as far as I could see, charged, loaded, but I don't see anything. No video input. Well. That's not okay, of course. So, oh well, of course. Uh, F1, F10, Fn, and F10, and now it has to switch to the uh, to the Philips monitor. Yes, it works. <laughs> Well, uh, anyway, um, strike the F1 key to continue, control, uh, okay, I strike F1, again the sound of the diskette, Olivetti, so the program is of 1986, all programs are, are loaded, so, and it's now on A. Is there a C, a C disk? I don't know. And I don't think it's interesting because it's only about, say, the computer programs. Uh, I want to show when it is successful, one basic problem, problem program that I have. Um, made. So we give the dear data error. Try again. Retry. When it is not successful I will stop this. But anyway I was very interested in GW basic. 
um, I made quite a few well so it doesn't work I will stop it I don't want to make this video not interesting let's go back to uh, to the games and of course we need the dare command I hope I can give more say uh, cat that is an interesting interesting video cat and of course we need the exe files it's I'm now on 10 minutes on my camera so well okay this is what I wanted to show when I saw it for the first time uh, I found it very interesting had not expected that so it was a very interesting and funny game to play and it's still a very very funny game to play anyway I'm gonna stop this video I think I have told everything and I don't like all these beeps let's try to play it do you want to use a joystick? No, of course no, because... And let me search the kitten mode. Any key. So this is the kitten mode. Uh, I really don't know how to play it. So I move a little bit here, etc, etc. But uh, anyway, uh, I will stop this video. I think it's good to have one DOS computer and of course perhaps via emulation on Windows 10, Windows 11 etc. You can do the same thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Very very old school by the way.